I uh, I don't even know how to explain this to you, but there is yet another report that Donald Trump has talked about fantasizing about sex with his own daughter, Ivanka Trump. And I know that there are people who may not realize that this isn't new. I told you about this a long time ago. This is not a new thing. Remember that clip I used to play where Trump says, you know, if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I would be dating her. And Trump on the Howard Stern show talking about his daughter as a piece of ass. Um, this is actually not new, but there is a new report about it. Uh, this is a this is an article from Newsweek. Trump made shocking comments about Ivanka, says an ex staffer. These are claims from Miles Taylor. Miles Taylor is the former Trump administration official who wrote the, that scathing op ed about Trump under the pen name anonymous. Taylor was a former chief of is a former chief of staff at the Department of Homeland Security. And he describes a number of different incidents in his forthcoming book, Blowback, where Trump made women uncomfortable. And the article says these incidents included claims by aides that Trump made lewd comments about his daughter Ivanka's appearance and talked about what it might be like to have sex with her. This prompted a rebuke from his own chief of staff, according to the book. This is not. Um, there are a whole bunch of other examples. This this is not new. OK, we have a clip here I'm going to play. I'll just present the clip without comment. But Trump's obsession with his own daughter and his own daughter's body is not a new thing to anybody who's been paying attention. What's the favorite thing you have in common, Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. <laughs> By the way, your daughter, she's beautiful. A, can I say this? A piece of ass. Yeah. She looks more voluptuous than ever. She's and actually her. always been very voluptuous. She's six feet tall. She's got the best body. Yeah, she's hot. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so weird. <laughs> This is this is not normal. This is weird. It's extremely weird. This this is this is sick. It's sick. Can Woody Allen? <laughs> People are clapping now. <laughs> Ivanka's clapping, but looks quite uncomfortable. So listen, um, I mean, Trump's not fit to be president, regardless of this is the reality. And I got dozens of emails about this half saying, David, can you believe this crap? Can you believe how sick this guy is? And the other half saying this doesn't have any bearing whatsoever. If Trump's foreign policy was good, why would he why would we care that he finds his daughter attractive? My view is sort of uh, in the middle in the sense that regardless of his views about his daughter's attractiveness, Trump is not fit to be president of the United States. In addition, this is so mind bendingly creepy that it only furthers any normal person's uh, uh, reaction that there's something uh, the the what would we say the wheel is spinning, but the hamster is dead, maybe is the phrase that I would use. Something is very wrong with this guy. And they talk about grooming and this, that and the other thing. This is borderline predatory behavior, but very important, not new information. And I know people will, people are already commenting and, and a couple wrote to me saying, this is this is just so ridiculous. It's so not believable. It's nothing like Trump. This is just a corroboration of the type of thing Trump has said five, six, seven times in history. It's disgusting. I think we're going to move on from it uh, and leave it there. Make sure you're subscribed, by the way, on YouTube. We have seen in the last 36 to 48 hours, maybe thanks to Howard Stern's endorsement, a significant acceleration in the fight for two million YouTube subscribers. Help us get there. More than three million people in May watched our YouTube clips and did not subscribe. All I'm asking you is for something that's free. Just hit that subscribe button. Let's get to two million. Let's do it, folks. Whether you're a carpenter, painter or just want to be prepared for emergencies, if you need a gas mask or respirator, go to our sponsor, Parcel Safety. As many of you know, I'm into emergency preparedness, not crazy prepping, but I want to have some food stored, some supplies. I've talked about water 
and multiple respirators are part of that because it's just a staple of being prepared. Respirator sales have been way up in recent years. Natural disasters, wildfires, polluted air, chemical plant accidents, unrest of different kinds, militarized police, all sorts of different reasons. You never know when a respirator or a gas mask from parcel safety might come in handy, and it could be when you least expect it. Parcel safety respirators are also perfect for professionals, contractors, painters, people doing DIY projects at home. All of parcel safety's respirators come with a one year manufacturer's warranty. Every respirator or gas mask comes with a filter, competitive prices, large discounts for organizations and outstanding customer service. To be totally honest, I've said before, I'm using these for changing baby diapers. It, I, people think I'm kidding and then they come visit me and I really am not. It, it actually is very useful to other parents out there. I do recommend it. Go to davidpackmancom slash safety. Use the code Pacman for 25 percent off your first order. The link is down below.